gaze into the future. Bitch, I bet you white hoes did not think Donald Trump would be this bad, now did you, bitch? I'm the librarian. I'm librarian. And I came to read. Y'all might be a little bit pressed and bothered at me when I say this, but bitch, it is now time to address Brandon Miller, AKA Miss Joanne the Scammer. What a lot of you hoes don't know is that Brandon Miller started off as Joanne Prada, and she was this, I don't know, she was this trans, real sickening, going around doing death drops in the mall and shit like that. And so it was cute for her. What really hit was, I guess, when she decided to pretend to be like a white woman, and I, you know, mainstream loves it when blackness abandons itself and tries to coon or throw some Clorox bleach on himself and pretend like, okay, girl, but whiteness is greatness. And so that was a hit, and that's why he was able to do all the shit that he was able to do within the past years. Now, I thought it was cute for a second. I was like, okay, girl, she's making fun of white people, blah, 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 blah. But I recently saw Brandon Miller, that's who it is. He did, I, I saw a snippet of an interview he did with Vice, and he was just saying that how he was adopted by white people. He spends time around black people who think that whiteness is ascending to a new level. Like, if if you live, I'm living like a Caucasian, you know what I mean? So the, the people that he's spending his, the black people that he's spending his time around are coons, and that inspired the image of who Joanne the Scammer is. So at first, many people, myself included, in the beginning I thought, okay, well he's making fun of white people, but no, he's actually become a caricature. He's become the paid ass image of the detrimental ass mindset that a lot of black people have. You know, the good hair type of shit. You need to stay out of the sun because it'll make you darker type of shit. He has internalized all of the bullshit ass mindset microaggressions and shit that have probably been thrown in his face the whole time, especially he said he was adopted by a white couple, I think it was. I just know the type of bullshit that Brandon has probably gone through. And so that's why I'm not really dragging his ass like that. I just hope that he can progress in life and surround himself with people who are more self-aware, who are more aware of their place in this goddamn world, no matter how you pretend to be a white woman. And you know, it was a joke, as I said, it was a joke at first, but now to know his underlying reasons for building Joanne the Scammer, it kind of alarms me and that's why I feel like I need to speak on it. I hope that he surrounds himself with people who are just like, girl, that's not the tea, bitch. You can be beautiful, intelligent, rich as fuck, and be black as well. You don't have to be a Caucasian to do that. But as I said, I think it's very sad that society is set up to where he has had to go through those things. And I'm sure he grew up very confused and conflicted. Like, girl, I'm growing up with these white people. I surround myself with black people who think that whiteness is just overcoming everything. Living like a Caucasian is just what you should strive for. So he just internalized all that shit and produced the fucking product. It pays. It got him to the fucking VMAs. With that snippet of the interview that I saw and knowing his history and even his history on social media, I'm getting very concerned, Brandon. And I also hope that, because it seems like you have not, I hope that you will be able to grow to accept yourself and accept your blackness and understand that you can be great within it. A lot of you dumb assholes were getting on my nerves yesterday on Twitter when it was found out that Dylan Roof's Mushroom from Mario video games built ass is being handed the death sentence. Bitch, checkmate on your chest playing asshole. You thought you was gonna run up in somebody's church and shoot some people and just get away with it, girl? You know what I mean? I'd be dragging religion, but churches are supposed to be one of the safe spaces in black communities, and your ass thought you were just gonna get your motherfucking dry ass breadstick from Olive Garden built ass up in that motherfucking shoot some shit, and ain't shit was gonna happen, girl? I'm glad that they got your wispy cloud, I'm talking about jet stream built ass, a death sentence on your ass. And bitch, you hoes were mad as fuck that I was saying that I was happy about it. You shouldn't be happy about humans dying. Bitch, I'm elated, I'm ecstatic, I'm content. I'm overjoyed. Endorphins just going every fucking where, bitch. I am pleased. Some hoes are like, oh, that's psychotic. How could you, bitch? I don't give a fuck. Y'all white hoes are the same one that ejaculate when y'all hear the words liberty and justice for all, bitch. Justice was served and it was served ice cold, ho. I am talking about Arctic Antarctica teas, bitch. And I am Daenerys Stormborn. Y'all already know I live for a cute episode of Game of Thrones. But what's his face was just like, girl, make Daenerys, maybe we should calm down, Daenerys. Maybe you should do all that shit. Handle injustice with mercy. Bitch, Daenerys looked at that dumb ass hoe and said, I will answer injustice with justice. Hey, she's not playing around with you hoes and neither am I, bitch. Death is trash, but if you feel the need to serve it to others, girl, with no type of logic or reason and with racist ass sentiments, ho, then get it served back to you. Bitch, yes, I'm an eye for an eye type of girl. Y'all hoes just gonna have to deal with it. I make needle to the bullshit. Fuck Professor X's tired ass. Peace for all and tranquility. No, bitch. Progression always comes with pain, ho, and it's time to wipe you hoes out. Get these racist ass motherfuckers out of here. Get these bigots out of here. Slash them hoes away. Y'all hoes 
would be talking a different tune if it was your mother, father, brother, or sister up in that hole. Just dead as hell because some idiot decided to take his gun, put some racist ass bullets in that hole, and just sling it around in the church, bitch. I am glad that they are taking the life force from this hole. I'm talking about Ar Ursula and Ariel T's. Bitch, take it! We are not letting you hoes get away with this shit in 2017. Y'all tried it for years, eon, centuries. I am coming for blood. BuzzFeed, let me tell you something really quick, bitch. Y'all have been getting on my fucking nerves, okay? In the beginning, I kind of lived for y'all. I can't believe I lived for y'all. I lived for y'all. I lived for the concept of what you, you guys were trying to do. You were a new media company, a social media company. I thought that was ballsy. But now y'all are just dragging people through the mud, and I'm not here for it. BuzzFeed, y'all are not. You can come for many things. But what you can't come for is my rights as a black faggot and Beyonce, ho. It's just not. What the fuck was that? Did you get your ass onto my computer screen to do a trash ass remake of Beyonce's motherfucking looks? And yes, I have a right to be angry as fuck about it, bitch. Because if it was David Bowie or some of y'all other motherfucking white assholes up there and we did that shit incorrectly, y'all drag our nigger asses through the mud. Did you really take your ass onto my fucking TV screen and fucking internet and fucking computer screen and do a trash ass remake? I'm gonna show y'all some of the pictures and do a trash ass remake of Beyonce's looks. Get your ass together! I still can't believe y'all hoes had this bitch just talking about dangerously in love. Bitch, what the fuck is this bitch? What the hell did y'all put a crochet ass tablecloth on this bitch and said it was y'all say dangerously in love, motherfucker? I mean, y'all hoes got me fucked up. Y'all have enough money. Y'all make millions and millions of dollars a fucking year. Y'all hoes could have talked to somebody to even make something that looks remotely like what she had on. Don't disrespect my fucking queen like that. Y'all hoes love to use Beyonce's name for views and just serve us trash ass content, bitch. Anytime, anytime Beyonce is in the motherfucking media and it's something that she did, it's always quality, quality, quality. Bitch. If you use Beyonce's name in some shit, it needs to be quality or I'm going to drag your ass every single time. The queen deserves better. President Obama, girl, you are just the sexiest. Bitch, it seems like if something were to happen and you accidentally, like, slit your finger on some paper or something, maple syrup would just come out that hole. You so goddamn sexy! You are fine as hell, and you took your ass up there, and you were looking like a sickening ass demigod from Mount Olympus, ho. I am living for your sexy ass smile, and your sexy ass motherfucking teeth. Bitch, I could live for your sexy ass eyes, and that hairline that has not flinched, bitch. How dare you look so sexy, my goddamn screen, bitch. Last night I was watching this shit before I went out last night. I was shook. My non-existent vagina was shaking. I was wet. There is no reason for you to get up there looking like a sexy ass Hershey's chocolate bar. I'm upset. You're going to get my ass diabetes. I'm going to take my ass to the dentist. I just went last month. You, you will make me take my ass to the dentist again, bitch, the way that your ass is serving me. Sweet ass chocolate teas, it's unfair. President Barack Obama took his big dick. President Barack Obama took his sexy ass on stage to roast you racist bitches. Listen, if I was a racist bitch in fucking America, I would be getting tired of first Meryl Streep drag your ass and now President Obama drag your ass, girl. Bitch, you need some motherfucker oil sheen. You need some oil sheen for that, them burns, bitch. President Obama said, girl, just because I was elected does not mean that there's a post-racial society going on, ho. You got the game entirely fucked up. He said, bitch, the effects from Jim Crow and slavery didn't just disappear in the 60s, girl. This shit is still here, girl. He dragged you hoes for Phil. Let's get into it. He said that while you hoes are out here discriminating and trying to build walls and shit, brown kids will represent a larger share of America's workforce. So you hoes need, he said, bitch, all our kids are the same, okay? They're trying to learn. They're just as curious. So while you're out here trying to push off people, America has been built off of accepting new cultures. Ho, he even dragged you Irish people, girl. He said that y'all were saying the same exact shit about about immigrants coming from Ireland. Y'all hoes didn't have enough potatoes. Y'all running over to America. Y'all hoes are saying the same thing. Like, girl, these immigrants, they're gonna damage our whole economy, blah, blah, blah. Meanwhile, they built that shit up. It is what it is today because of all the immigrants that came here and built some shit and did some shit. Hoes out here looking for better lives. What makes you think that they're going to want to bring your ass down? I'm not saying that everyone is perfect, but people who are genuinely trying to get ahead in life aren't over here trying to destroy your country, girl. One point he said that I thought was important. He said laws alone won't be enough, okay? Hearts have to change. I think that has been made so clear.
there, especially in these modern ass times. Bitch, just because it's written on paper don't mean that the people gonna want to enforce it or be happy with enforcing it. People's mindsets have to change, and he did address the fact that it, it might take generations to happen. But y'all hoes, have, we have to be focused on progress. Now, President Obama, I know you might have been playing the game. That much power, that many eyes looking on your ass. I know you have to say some dumb shit. You talking about minorities and shit. We have to look at the middle-aged white man who, from the outside, might seem like he's got all the advantages, but who's seen his world upened by economic, cultural, and technological change. Now, I'm not gonna be a hard ass and say that, bitch, everybody has had it easy. I know that shipping jobs offshore, especially them factory jobs, a lot of these middle-aged white assholes, especially these people living in the Midwest, they find themselves poor as fuck. I understand that. And I think we should create policies and laws to try and lift up those people. But I will not diminish the experiences of any black American in this country, and I, I don't think I should equate it either. I think they're different things. And I will feel no sympathy for those people if they are indeed racist. So I think what you said could have been phrased differently, girl. But other than that, when your ass was bragging on your wife, who's out here built like all types of luscious ass blueberries, I'm so mad at Michelle Obama for being so sickening. I love her. The daughters are out here. Bitch, I just, I got my whole life that whole sermon because it was a sermon that your ass was giving me, girl. And I don't even go to church. President Barack Obama, let me tell you something. I'm going to miss you and your amazing ass family. There's no reason for your daughters and your wife to be constructed so beautifully like black girl magic. And there's no reason for you to be out here being a good ass role model for my ass. I don't understand how sickening you guys want to be, I thought that my edges were grown the fuck back in, but here you come on my TV screen, snatching, bitch, wasn't a couple weeks ago, um, Michelle Obama giving her last address as the first lady, and you, okay, my edges were still growing back in that, and then you get your beautiful ass on TV and snatch my edges, like, girl, y'all don't give me time, I barely had time to get into the salon, and here my wig is just being snatched back, time after time, I am getting shook, I am getting emotional at your ass, I I don't want to see y'all leaving. Bitch, did y'all call the movers? Because if you didn't, I'm canceling every mover in Washington, D.C., girl. Every mover is just going to be auto. Just, just something's going to happen. It's just gonna be, they're going to be booked. No one can move your shit out of the White House. Y'all going to have to stay in, girl. I got a plan for you hoes. Y'all ain't leaving anytime soon, girl. I am going to delete every mover in Washington, D.C. I'm going to give them. They're going to be too booked to handle this shit. They said, girl, we can't take your shit out, bitch. The Secret Service is going to be busy, bitch. It's just, y'all going to have to just stay. I don't know what's the team. We're going to be left with a jack o lantern bill bitch and it's not even Halloween. I'm so mad at his toupee built ass. I am upset at his wire hanger built ass here. Bitch, that shit is so thin. It's served me Taylor Swift ass tees, bitch. Just nothing there, bitch. Just wisps. I'm so mad. Bitch, now there's rumors of his ass having a golden shower with um, hookers in Moscow, bitch. Do what you have to do. But, bitch, when y'all hoes are out here shaming Michelle for wearing dresses that came up to her shin, y'all need to be just as shook with Donald Trump's naked ass wife and his ass being pissed on or pissing on prostitutes in Moscow. And they're talking about Russia's gonna use this to blackmail him, blah, 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 blah. Y'all hoes thought it was a fucking game when we said, bitch, this man does not need to be in the White House. And now some of you hoes who didn't know that of the Affordable Care Act equals Obamacare, bitch, y'all hoes are shook. Bitch, I saw online all these hoes talking about, well, girl, Obamacare is gonna be finally repealed, not the Affordable Care Act. Bitch, them the same things. Y'all bitches were so focused on getting his nigger ass out of office. Y'all so focused on keeping minorities and women and LGBT down that you were just willing to accept garbage to uphold your fucking bigotry. Now you hoes are out of luck. Read it and weep, ho. I would tell you maybe to go get some type of Xanax or some shit, but y'all hoes might be off of healthcare and not be able to afford that shit, ho. The bullshit that y'all put us through and now y'all fucking seeing the shit happen and unfold in real life. Y'all are so shook. Look, something's about to happen. Y'all are responsible for this shit. So every time I'm talking about every single bad event, anytime the economy dips even a little, bitch, anytime one job is lost, bitch, I'm going to drag, I'm going to drag his ass, I'm gonna drag y'all dumb asses that had the nerve to get his raccoon face ass in the highest position of power in the fucking world, bitch. I'm going to drag. Fasten your seatbelts, kids, because Donald Trump's Boeing 747 built ass is taking America for the nosedive, a crash landing, and I'm gonna read his ass from the middle of the aisle the whole damn time.